No, I can't see. There's nothing that is going to bring about any breakup in Nigeria. The case of Nigeria has gone beyond that. All the people talking about breakups don't understand how the state works and what constitutes a breakup. It's the breakup that you're talking about is not the kind of where you see the like of Ibu speaking those kind of grammar when you don't have even forces. You don't have the constitutional power. You don't have even people who will sit down to discuss the issue of breakup, being part of the process, all the threats. What you will just have is going to be sheer anarchy where the ordinary citizens will be the ultimate casualties and nothing will come out of it. We blame other people for our misfortune, woes, mistakes, challenges, and we never even for once reflect on what we contribute to such a process. So we don't hold ourselves. So the moment you call the policeman that is collecting bribe, he would say, oh, it is the bosses up that are not giving them their due. So the moment you get to the boss, he will say, oh, it's the National Assembly that is not appropriating. The moment you get to the National Assembly, so, oh, we don't have enough money. So everybody is shifting the blame. So when you come to the regions, the Southwest will say, oh, our problem is the South-South because the Igbos are too much here. Yeah. Now it is, oh, no, it is the Fulani that is our problem before they go to the, We forget about the fact that the governors are meant to provide us with security and they fail. So it is the Us Fulanis have right to recite in the South, any Nigerian, they have a right to recite anywhere in Nigeria, and anybody that threatens that right is committing a crime. You can't say because we are from the Southwest or from the Kano, and you won't hold it. They must be held, held accountable. So the breakup is not what we're talking about. What is happening now? What is happening now is just sheer further non state exploitation of the ordinary citizens. You saw what happened at the Shasha market. Some people will be arrested, some people have lost their uh, wares and their money some people would be killed the proprietors of all this would not in any way be affected you saw what happened with just a few days that foods were not coming to the southwest you can go and check how much it was that the ordinary people were buying foodstuffs from the market the guys at the elite there that are crying break up that are saying go to hell they are not affected is either they get free supply or they have enough money to buy but the ordinary people there are never given the opportunity to be part of it and they will not be part of the breakup that we're talking about.